Oh, beautiful. This is what God is doing. So we're out here just walking around and talking with people. I want just a little greeting here. Yesterday evening, we were down in the city and we're just walking around and sharing Jesus with people. And it was so powerful. It was so beautiful. So many lives got changed and so many things happened. And I want to put a little clip in here. You can see it was a one time I was walking and there was a few girls sitting on a bench and and me and some other went to them. And one of the girls asked if I can pray for her. And she said, hey, she's already a Christian and so on. And uh, again, I don't know so many people here. But I said, don't matter, I can pray for you anyway. And then I prayed for her and God spoke to me and I started to speak prophetic into her life and she just broke. She was sitting on a bench and she just kneeled down and was crying and crying and crying. And I was laying hands on her and praying. And it was so, so beautiful. And something deep, deep pain left her. She got set free. And then she told me exciting afterwards that the day before she had been praying to God to set her free from those things she had been dealing with for years. The day before she has been speaking to God about exactly the same thing, I came and spoke into her life in that moment. And uh, I can put a little clip in here and then I'll say something to you. Ah. Can I film you? Me, you. Hi. Hi. Me. We're, <laughs> we're out here in, in, in a sense of city and I just prayed for you what happened. Um, oh, you can wear your hair and cry. I'm gonna cry. Um, it's gonna fall. Chicken. The chicken is big. When él me dijo, puedo, when he said to me, puedo orar por ti, can yo dije, I pray for you? She was like, I love Jesus. Yo amo a Jesús. ¿Por qué? And she um, was asking God yesterday to be free from that hurt. Y le dije, Señor, por favor, hazme libre ya. No quiero esperar más tiempo. She was asking God yesterday, um, por, God, please set me free from this pain because I don't want to wait anymore, any longer. Y porque he orado, he because buscado. I've, because I pray, I... Uh, y nada pasa. And, y sigue and nothing pa happened. Sigo cargando esto. And I keep... Um, Oro por otros, son libres, y yo no. <laughs> I, I pray for so many people that are free, but I'm not. Y, y oraste and exactamente pray, por los puntos. And you pray about the things that I've been praying for. Sí, de rechazo, de... Tu hurt. Oh, <laughs> like all of the hurt, uh -huh. all of the reject, rejection. Y heridas. Yeah, and you spent freedom. <laughs> I did not know that. So yesterday she was praying to God and today I come to her. She was sitting on a bench. We are out here and then uh, as I pray for her and she spent freedom. How is it? How is it? Muy bien. Muy, muy libre. <laughs> oh, beautiful. This is what God is doing. So we're out here just walking around and talking with people and praying for people and, and one by one experience freedom and it's so beautiful. It's good to be in Mexico. I want to say two things to you. First, I want to say to you who love Jesus, you don't need to wait for a big meeting or conference. You can just live this life where you're just outside seeing like we are and seeing this amazing place and, and just being with people and then share Jesus in your everyday life. Share Jesus where you are, listen to the Holy Spirit and just be bold and take some steps. And you can see life change like this. It was not a meeting, it was not a conference, it was not something that was set up, it was not something that was arranged by me in that sense, but it was something that was arranged by God. And this is the life we are all called to live. That is the one thing I want to say. I want to say also to you out there, God, he hears you. He sees you. Like this girl, she was praying and crying out to God the day before. God heard it. And then I was being allowed to be used to go in the day after and speak exactly that into her and was her answer for her prayer. And it was a very strong confirmation for her that God actually sees her and listen to her and I want to say God always sees us 
and he always listened to us. Even it do not always happen so fast that we pray and then the day after we get the answer in such a powerful way. But God sees us. God sees you and he hear you. And I just want to encourage you with this. And, and for me being used in this way, it really did something. And to it, it but I can rejoice also with her and like God sees her, he sees me. As God listened to her, he listened to me. And it really encouraged me that God, he is with us all. And he listened to us. And he is a God who hears prayer. So it was a beautiful day yesterday where so many other things happened. And I'll come out with some more videos later of how God brought us here. And, and what is going to happen? Uh, I can say right now, what is going to happen in Mexico is that we're just going to see God. We're going to take it quietly, see God, and, and see how the Holy Spirit is leading. We are not here to, to plan a lot right now. We don't know exactly what is going to happen, but we know God has sent us here. But I'm going to share more in a video uh, in the next days. But uh, we want to be a light wherever we are. And we want to share Jesus wherever we are, in season and out of season, and this is what we can do. So big blessing from here, and uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. Bye-bye.